Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Two are dead, seven more hurt after a five-car crash near Howe Avenue and Hallmark Drive. Of those injured, four patients were taken to an area hospital in unknown conditions. The other three were treated at the scene. CHP is now investigating. Jury selection resumes tomorrow in Los Angeles in Harvey Weinstein's sexual battery trial. We also learned this week that actor Mel Gibson is among those expected to testify when the trial begins. Pro-Kremlin officials are blaming Ukraine for a rocket attack that struck the mayor's office in a key Ukrainian city controlled by separatists. Also this weekend, a Washington-based think tank accused Moscow of forcibly deporting Ukrainians to Russia and said it likely amounted to ethnic cleansing. Iranian media say a fire at a notorious prison housing political prisoners and anti-government activists in Iran's capital killed four inmates. The fire comes amid a fifth week of nationwide protests triggered by the death of a young woman in police custody. More gang violence in Mexico with six men and six women killed when unidentified gunmen opened fire inside a bar in central Mexico. It's the second mass shooting in that state in a month. Speaking to a twice a decade party Congress, Chinese leader Xi Jinping said China will continue policies toward Taiwan and semi-autonomous Hong Kong that have been harshly criticized by the U.S. and other democracies. The event is expected to give Xi a third five-year term as leader. The Gates Foundation says it's committing more than a billion dollars to efforts aimed at ending polio worldwide. The money will be focused on Pakistan and Afghanistan, the last two endemic countries. Abbott Labs recalling bottles of their largest, most popular kind of baby formula, Similac, manufactured in their Columbus, Ohio plant. The bottle caps on some of their two-ounce ready-to-feed liquid products are faulty and may not have sealed completely. Holiday travel season closing in. Travel agency Hopper says the average cost of a Thanksgiving round-trip flight will be $350 or more. And experts say holiday prices will increase 10 to $15 per day towards the end of October. The beta application for the Federal Student Debt Relief website will open intermittently as the Department of Education prepares for the official launch. You can find the link at abc10.com links. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.